Hi Aquarius, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. I hope you're healthy and safe. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So you know how it works. This is going to be your weekly update. The overall general message, what's your current energy, any specific person in your surroundings, how they are thinking and feeling about you. Can be love interest, can be somebody heavily dominating your week, right? And a couple of advice as an outcome, right? So let's dive in. Wow, we have lovers under the deck. Let's dive in Aquarius. Let's see what is the general message for you first. Of course, reverse the rules if needed, switch the cases, but don't force the reading on your situation. Observer, I see in this week you might feel like looking at things from a distance. It's like, you know, testing the waters but not jumping into it. New life, wow. I see some transformation happening here. Some things are being released. For some of you, I see you guys are waking up from a beautiful dream and there's a, there's a motivation that I have to make it true. I have to I have to do something to make this true. A new idea, a new thought. I see exchanging gifts. You might have met somebody recently or um, you have somebody in your surroundings. I see some kind of exchange of thoughts, ideas and views can take place. This can be good conversation by the book. Some traditional means this can be surrounding a commitment. I see you have a new idea about it and right now you're observing that situation from a distance. This is the page of swords energy. So for a lot of you, I see you guys are from a distance analyzing this situation and uh, trying to be sure about something before you take the leap of faith, before you manifest or you start manifesting this new change, this new life in your surroundings amazing i see this week is more about testing the waters testing the waters and uh, <clears throat> before you start this new thing this can be work life but for a lot of you i see this is on love you start with planning to bring some changes in your current situation right so this can be elevation this can be proposing to somebody this can be getting into a uh, concrete commitment or something like that but before that you want to be sure of something interesting let's see what tarot has to say here for this week what are your energies aquarius nine of wands yeah i see that the guardedness is there you, oh my god okay this is two of cups two of wands interesting again the very very similar energy king of swords here you are or somebody you are attracted to or you are thinking about I see this is for a lot of you, this is your your energy. For a lot of you Aquarius, I see you have seen a lot of options lately or maybe if you're single, you have dated a lot of people. I see there were cups in the recent past, you've met a lot of people, three of cups here. Yeah, queen of cups. But there is one person, king and queen of swords, there's one person who is heavily on your mind and you still think about this person. Problem may be that you people are too direct, little unemotional or little unromantic. Or maybe this person says something because of which you feel like, I need to stay guarded, this person can hurt me, right? King and Queen of Swords, I definitely see a counterpart energy. You both complement each other. But on the same time, you guys tend to trigger each other somehow, right? This can be blunt conversation or simply... Um, you know it's like lack of trust a little bit this person can say something so logical that can hurt me right so i see some dissatisfaction surrounding that situation a struggle to make a decision but eventually i see the judgment energy exactly what i picked up in the beginning aquarius i see nine of wands you're quite defensive about what to do next you're testing the waters guarded not moving forward not moving backwards standing there behind the wands I see this person has said something and you're a little triggered thinking that what should I do next. You're, you're, you're watching this person from a distance. For a lot of you I see you're watching this person from a distance and a lot of analysis is happening. I see for a lot of you I'm getting this message that before you start this new thing you're going to stay at a distance and look at this person from a distance. It's like you're not telling anything to them but you're trying to analyze their behavior their patterns their way of talking maybe or maybe just thinking that is this going to give you a result or is it going to be the the kind of connection you want so i see a lot of skepticism on your mind but eventually there's a decision being taken right i see two of wands you're leveling up to make a decision about this person and the outcome is two of cups 
the partnership, right? You might go to see this person. This can be a date sitting face to face and I see you deciding to meet this person or just come closer to them one step, right? Okay, so let's see any specific person. This can be the same person you're dealing with. What is this person thinking, feeling? What are their energies towards you? Okay, death with the seven of pentacles. I, I see this person is tired of waiting for you. Aquarius, you are maintaining a safe distance from this person and they're tired for tired of waiting for you. I see death energy as if someone is giving up. You see the surrender energy here. This person is surrendering. I see I see, you know, um a little bit disappointed. I, I, I see disappointment. I see this person is understanding there is some transformation happening here and they're waiting for the right time to just um, say something to you or they're waiting for you to come and approach them. I see they're waiting. They're waiting for this commitment. Ten of Pentacles here under the deck. I see Ten of Pentacles under the deck. I see this person is waiting on to you. They're waiting for a commitment. But somewhere they're losing hope that you're going to come and offer this commitment to them right now i see you're very defensive and they're losing hope so let's see four of cups and the king of swords yeah i see this person is angry this person is really angry and they're feeling very disappointed four of cups two of cups okay eight of wands i see communication so uh, there's a need to talk about this whole scenario someone is feeling very dissatisfied about this new beginning see that they're wondering about this ace of cups energy they're thinking about how, how and when this thing is going to happen or start two of cups on your part interesting okay for very few of you um aquarius this also can be a scenario that this person is very agitated and they're looking for something concrete they're acting a little cold here they have been waiting and they're very dissatisfied meanwhile though you're defensive about opening up to them i see there's a decision made to meet somebody so for 80 percent of you i see you meeting the same person this new vision this new idea is to just be a little closer to them and analyze them and see if this is going to go somewhere or other way around this can be simply just um, some kind of rejection on this person's part and maybe finding somebody new maybe looking for some new options right or meeting somebody new we're going to see what's that right okay aquarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter we're gonna see what's that let's clarify why are you so defensive i see they're waiting for a commitment and somewhere at heart they're losing hope they're angry that you're not talking to them why are you so defensive nine of wands six of pentacles i see in the beginning you invested too much you you're looking for more balance you want this person to be investing more king of swords twice my god there is um for a lot of you i see over analysis is happening in this situation you're guarded maybe something's happened in the past this person said something in past to you and you're very guarded and you tried investing um in the whole scenario but i see the guardedness is just because you feel things are not balanced you give too much and you don't get anything in back and they're like okay they're waiting for you so you invest this time and they can return something to you okay I, I see there's miscommunication there's very very strong miscommunication you're maintaining a distance and watching them uh, high priestess yes i see that um, you are silent because somewhere at heart you feel that you've given too much and you're you're patiently manifesting something gate of swords you are looking very confused about this whole scenario and they're just sitting and waiting for you why is this person so angry what is this king of swords why is this person so angry the chariot the the okay the strength in the seven of pentacles again the weight waiting energy this person is feeling pissed off because they feel cold they, they're waiting for you and they're angry they want you to make the move they want you to show something body language or gestures or communicate maybe a yeah, ten of swords ten of wands okay for a lot of you i see you're going to be carrying this load of past for a lot of you i see you have had some bad experience with this person in past aquarius and you felt that i have given too much i see a struggle here to make a decision you invested and you're, you're like okay high priestess you're being silent here because uh, probably the past experience the intuition you're very guarded you might you're feeling that this person is going to do this again but i see they're genuinely waiting for you genuinely waiting for you 
and uh, chariot they want to move forward towards you they're confident that this can be worked out this this time but again they're resisting the urge to say anything with the strength energy because they want you to make the make the move you want they want you to level up and i see you are doing that with the two of wands what is this level up energy what are you deciding the oh my god okay two of swords ace of Pentacles. the hierophant two of swords and ace of Pentacles. you definitely want a fresh start here but I think you're confused about how to make it more traditional. The confusion probably is that you want to, again, two, 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 two of swords, two of wands, and two of cups. I see Aquarius that you want it to be in a fresh way. New life, new start, ace of pentacles, fresh beginning. You want it to happen from the beginning in a fresh way where you can be more equal with each other, right? You want something more traditional, a commitment, that is more traditional. Two of Pentacles under the deck. All the twos are there. I see it's very hard for you to make the decision here. Hard for you to make a decision here. I see all the twos. Let's see what is this. Let's see what is this Two of Cups energy. Aquarius, what is this Two of Cups energy? We have Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Wow, okay. For a lot of you, I see this is very confusing for you. Eight of Swords is like you're blindfolded and you're afraid. But there is a truth coming out and this can lead to a potential first start. Four of Wands, I see this can be a potential relationship, commitment. Wow, I see fruits here, someone preparing wine together. Maybe you're planning to go out on a date. Four of Wands, this is a fresh beginning in a relationship. If you're already dating this person, I see the clarity you're looking for is coming in. In the beginning, you'll be puzzled, confused, Eight of Swords, but eventually, yeah, I do see some kind of return happening. On the other hand, what is this Four of Cups for this person? This person is very dissatisfied. I see your confusion is stopping you to make any de decision or any step towards them and they're just pissed off waiting for you pissed off waiting for you they equally want this and i think they're more eager than you to have this connection forward we have the page of wands the five of pentacles and the four of four of pentacles okay i see defenses my god you both are so guarded you have had a very strong history with this person aquarius eight of cups under the deck you have had a very strong history with this person and i see you very confused about what to do next you both are very very guarded here for some of you i see the timing is a problem in this whole scenario between you both when you are ready and when you make decision this person is closed off and they don't give any sign to you and when you try to take a leap of faith towards them and when you try to when they try to initiate or put any effort towards you Poor communication is the problem. I'm strongly getting this message. Aquarius, what is the situation here? Don't stop. Aquarius, I see that your fears are stopping you from taking a step towards somebody you really like or you're really interested. I see this person is equally interested. Yeah, ask for help from others. I see you guys need to talk it out. This is this is the problem here, okay? What is this? Let's see the outcome of the situation. I see guardedness. I see defenses. I see a lot of talking needs to be done here. Aquarius, Ace of Wands, an amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. If you're really passionate about this person, Aquarius, I see this is the time. You should make the confession, right? Or at least, at least clear the air right i see the clarity you need is coming so for a lot of you i see if you try to talk to this person or if you if you ask for clarity from this person i see the clarity coming in right either it's going to end up in a relationship or you will have a clear path to manifest something new in your life i see this is a lot of confusion because there's no talking you're waiting for them to talk and they're waiting for you to talk that's that's oh yeah six of cups can you see that ace of wands six of cups childhood or children revisiting your old plans or dreams embracing your inner child the return of people or romances from your past romanticizing how things used to be so i see a lot of conversation is going to happen if you both uh, give it a try i see some new com communication new conversations starting here in the beginning there's a lot of defensiveness you're avoiding them and they're avoiding you but the moment this communication starts i see 
you both might start talking and revisit that time when you were together or when you were talking when there was no confusion between you both i see revisiting and bringing those things together back i still see a lot of uh, clouds here in this situation aquarius what do you need to hear what do you need to hear what is the situation about forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present aquarius this love for sure this love for sure and i see a lot of clarity is needed when it comes to comes to taking this connection forward you need to discuss codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life there are expectations or there are codependencies here the devil energy is definitely there passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy this this chemistry between you both express your love go ahead make the romantic gesture aquarius i see communication is a big problem between you and somebody right now and if you want a fresh start and you want new life ace of pentacles it's very important to um bridge this gap i see communication true love my god this is the romance of lifetime let your friends help you i see there are two cards which are showing me that ask for help from others for some of you i see the communication is very poor or there are there are things which you are assuming about this person and there are things which this person is assuming about you and because there's lack of clarity this is building up so find the right people may, may let the friends come in and talk about it both the cards are showing me some kind of mediation is needed between you both and uh, and i see things can really work out because this is some big potential here things can really work out if you talk this out right so this is the message i have for you guys thank you so much for watching bye bye